If you know the trick to getting the bra off quickly, she's yours. Turn around and lift up your fucking shirt. Make a girl laugh, you make her moist. I was going to tell you a joke about me cock, but it's too long. <laughs> like that, did you get your gash out then? If she's looking at me and playing with her hair, by the end of the night, she'll need a wheelchair. But how do you know if she's interested? It's easy, there's one thing you've got to do. Just show her your penis. If she cries, she's just playing hard to get. Dan O'Reilly, at best what you do is offensive. At worst, it incites harassment and violence. Mm. No, um, do you know what? Um, from the beginning that I started um, with the character Dapper Laughs, um, it caught on really quick that that type of humour was really popular for, for a certain demographic of people. It, like the, the Facebook page blew up and at the time I didn't think that so many people would end up seeing it in the end. It became very popular and um, I kind of got a little bit carried away with it, to be honest with you. So um, when you see that now, what do you think? Um, do you know what, if that was the first time that I'd seen that, kind of comedy, I would think that the character um, is not setting a good example, but at the time when we were doing it, it was getting so much praise from the audience that it was being received by um, and growing and growing and growing, it was kind of something that took hold of me a little bit and I thought maybe, you know, these people can see that I'm, because saying that obviously to, to me is like, come on, that's not, that's not real, obviously I don't think that. But I, I'm taking the mick out of what I thought men think. Right. Do you know what I mean? So when, when you say uh, you're giving advice to men on the pull, and for example, you say, uh, get your gash out to women, mm. can you deny that that would encourage men to do that on the street? But yeah, potentially, of course. You're right. It's, it's, you know, it's wrong. But to, 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 I'm, well, I'm not going to say but, but to me, uh, it, I didn't see it as, it as me was saying it. I, I was creating this character and I was really pushing the boundaries with the character because it was popular. And so, I, so you agree that when you create this character and it incites sexual violence and then I people go it, out I and enact sexual did. violence? I didn't think it did at the time. I thought that the people that were, that, that were viewing it were saying, this is ridiculous. You know, and laughing at it. That. You've said Dapper Laughs is an extension of yourself. He allows you to do things you wouldn't normally do and you blame it on him. It doesn't sound like satire at all. It sounds like an excuse. Well, that's not the attitude that I did have with it. Do, do you know what, to be completely honest with you, it's, it, it's com it was great at the beginning for me. It's completely ruined everything that's going on with me as a comedian. I mean, just another line that came up, just show her your penis. If she cries, she's playing hard to get. There was a bit in the film mm. we saw where you're holding up a knife and you say, lift up your fucking shirt. Was that just all done in, in jest? With no disrespect to you, do you think, looking at me now, that I actually would go out and do that? I wouldn't. I'm, I, was create, I was creating, I was pushing the boundaries of that character. But, to... but, but what, what you're saying is that women who say no don't mean no. And if people watching you think that's funny and they go and enact that, well, then see, that's the consequence that, of... That, what... that makes me sad to think that if someone had done that and I was responsible for that, it's terrible. That's why this week, um, the bad press and everything that's happened, I've, I've stopped and said, you know, it's, it's wrecked my life to a certain extent. So you're feeling like a bit of a victim now, are you? I, I wouldn't say that. I may be a victim of my own, my own mistakes. But let's have a look at some of this, because uh, this is a bit where you're talking to a live audience. I've, I've filmed six episodes, half hour each episodes, right? If it was a f***ing guy to rape, I would have done one five-minute episode. <laughs> I would come and go, hey, yeah! Go down the shop, get some rope, get some duct tape, break the f***ing well done, see you later. <laughs> you can't rape women. Oh, you can't rape. You can't. Jason, you're whistling through the f***ing seat there, look at that. Yeah, rape gone wrong. Don't try and rape. She's gagging for a rape. <laughs> and, I'm not, and I'm not defending myself with this. This section, I was talking about how the media had looked at my TV show that I'm inside and I'm trying to explain that I'm not and you know, I hold my hands up. That joke may have gone a little bit too far and I said a little bit too much but by no means do I stand behind that and I'm, I'm embarrassed by Get it. Get some duct not... tape and rape the bitch. Yeah. She's gagging for yeah, a rape. Yeah, but listen, in the way that I was saying that, I was saying, look, there's no way my show condones rape at all. 
I'm not standing by that. If I was... A, a member in the audience says yeah, but what yes to rape and you say geezer to him as no, encouragement. No, no, what I'm, what I'm explaining to the audience is I think it's ridiculous that people are pursuing this as that, that they're, they're perceiving this as that sort of... Do you think everyone in the audience just found that satire really funny or were they laughing because you'd I think they were laughing. I, they were laughing at the fact that I was laughing at people thinking that I'm trying to incite rape. Listen, so was it basically OK then? No, I mean, I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying that at all, and it's ruined everything. Do you think you, you wouldn't be feeling like this if ITV2 hadn't pulled your second series? Not, not, not at all. We, I, I, I felt blessed that ITV2 even, even gave me a, a first series. I didn't know if there was going to be a second series. What I'm saying is that a lot of people may be watching this and thinking, well, the apologies come because he's just had his series no, pulled, his tour has been pulled and his album's not for sale. My tour wasn't pulled. This morning I woke up and decided that I don't want to carry on with Dapper Laughs. When you re-watch some of these clips, do you, do you laugh a bit? No, I, 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 I look at it now and I'm trying to, at the moment, hold back uh, the emotion that's attached to what you know, what it's done to my life in the last, what the media have done to my life in the last four days. I didn't realise I was causing that much of a problem. So, if women watching this say um, you in your comedy have incited violence, you've vindicated uh, rape and rapists, w what they should be doing is saying they've actually ruined your career. No. Right? What they should be saying now is if they think that, they should be looking at it saying, right, at least he's come on the TV and he said, do you know what, I don't want to be an advocate for that. And what does Dapper Laughs do now? What, what does Dan O'Reilly do Dapper now? Dapper Laughs is gone. My family have spoken to me about it, you know? So I don't, not only do I not want to carry on with it, I don't, I don't want to be what, seen to Didn't to approve your dad it. start tweeting, trolling? Well, I don't know what. Following? some of your stuff and some of the comments that came back from women well i don't i can't talk for what you've done because that was that was uh, that was a, a long time ago one thing i do know is i'm not going to represent dapper laughs or I allow dapper laughs to represent me uh, I, I i want the people out there to know that you know not only am i going to stop it i'm going to help it not being promoted as well Dan O'Reilly, thank you thank Thanks you for coming.